Carlos Oliveira, the man who became an integral part to Jill Valentine's escape during Resident Evil 3. With his lighthearted nature, to his many heroics during the game, it was finally nice to see this character again in Resident Evil 3 Remake. So in this video, we'll be breaking down what we know so far about Carlos and discuss his overall lore, what role he'll play in RE3 Remake, and what changes they made for him for this upcoming title. Anyway, name's Carlos. Glad to meet you, lady. Anyways, before we do get started with the video, I just want to say my name is Heydeva, and I do cover a lot of Resident Evil and other survival horror content on my channel. So if you guys enjoy these type of videos, then please feel free to like and subscribe for more content like this in the future, and also possibly adding me both on Instagram and on Twitter, where you guys can message me there personally at any time. Alright, so let's go ahead all the way prior to Carlos ever meeting Jill at Raccoon City, with this background stemming from South America, where he was part of a guerrilla group of soldiers, which similar to his role that we knew of him, he was pretty much a hired gun, who would eventually catch the eye of the Umbrella Corporation. Also, depending on which source material we're getting our info, we actually get a small storyline that has him incarcerated, and Umbrella would have him released, but of course the conditions would have him work for them and become part of the Umbrella Biohazard Counter Service, a subsub group of military personnel that were made up from former militia experienced individuals, or specially hired persons, who would play a larger role during the mission, but in complete secret, which I wonder who that could be. Anyways, once Carlos joins the UBCS, he would later get the call to rescue and save any civilians in Raccoon City, not knowing the horrors that plagued the area. Because once arriving, the UBCS troops were quickly overwhelmed by the sheer amount of zombies and monsters, where the great depictions to this was in the opening cutscene from the original RE3. So as time passed, with most of the UBCS soldiers decimated, Carlos and a few other of his compatriots took shelter inside one of the cable cars, with one of them by the name of Mikhail being severely injured. So it was up to Carlos to go look for a way to still help as many citizens as possible, but also at the same time figure out a way to get the cable car working. This would lead him to eventually meeting Jill Valentine. And also depending on which pathway we took in RE3, we can either meet him inside the restaurant... What's that? Calm down, lady. I'm no zombie. My name's Carlos, Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? Or at the Raccoon City Press. Hey. Where... where am I? Relax. You're fine. If you say so, but my head feels like it's about to explode. Anyway, name's Carlos. Glad to meet you, lady. But with both pathways, Carlos would assist Jill in taking down Nemesis. But once the scuffle with his tyrant was done, this is where we get our first initial glimpse of this character in the game, where Jill questions his motives and asks why he's helping civilians, especially with all the criminal acts that the Umbrella has already done. Wait, I have to ask you something. I know, you wanna ask me out. All the foxy ladies love my accent, it drives them crazy. What? Keep dreaming. Tell me, why did Umbrella send your team in? We're here to rescue the civilians. Don't lie to me. Umbrella is the reason why this whole mess began. Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. Do you really think the Master would tell his dogs why they have to retrieve the stick he just threw? If you want answers, you should talk to someone else. I am not with Umbrella. Believe it or not, we're only here to rescue the civilians. If you can trust me, then help us. Think about it! Anyways, this would be part of the partnership between these two characters in this game, with Carlos assisting Jill throughout the city. But the most significant moment would happen when these two arrive at the clock tower area, because it was here that Jill got infected by Nemesis, with Carlos coming to her rescue and actually deal significant damage to the tyrant. Yeah. 
Even in the Resident Evil, Chinese manhwa depicts this scene as well, which would cause Nemesis to have part of his trench coat limiter ripped off and his rocket launcher completely gone. But even with this, Carlos would still step up to the plate and assist Jill by retrieving a vaccine for her due to the infection that Nemesis gave her, where Carlos would have to go to the Raccoon City General Hospital and concoct the vaccine himself, while also finding out that Nikolai, one of the UBCS comrades, was actually a traitor. So if you really think about it, this act of kindness by Carlos does set the president for the rest of the series. Because without him, Jill would have never survived during Resident Evil 3, which would have a cascade effect of having her absent in the future games of the series. Also, her importance of being a founder and a member of the BSAA, it's no wonder that Carlos really did play a large role by saving Jill. So it was pretty cool to see by the end of RE3 that we get a panel picture of Jill and Carlos together, possibly having some type of relationship, especially after what they went through. But with Resident Evil 3 Remake, the changes they made for Carlos is already quite significant, with his overall appearance looking much more ragged and giving a much more serious tone as well, which makes me wonder if they go with his more grittier approach to his character, will it affect how he be portrayed compared to his original RE3 version, where we saw him be lighthearted and caring for his comrades or partners, almost being that sigh of relief that we needed, especially with the action-heavy sequences with Jill versus Nemesis. Don't make me do this, Murphy. I don't want to shoot you. Kill me. I finished. Not human. Wait, we... We don't have to do this. Please hurry. Before I lose conscious. Before too late. Kill me! Why? No. No. <laughs> Carlos! So if the approach to him in this remake is leaning more on a serious tone, then we could expect that the overall premise and feel to this game will be darker. With the stakes at an all-time high, it would be necessary for him to take a serious role and be that solid foundation that would help Jill make it out alive during this game. Also, I just want to point out that the story changes they made to Carlos during RE3 Remake's trailer, where we saw him heading towards the RPD Stars Unit's office, which this could be a setup to how he meets Jill and eventually team up with her to take down Nemesis. Maybe we could have Brad assist during the boss battle as well, but we know the outcome to this already, where we'll get an updated version of this scene. Anyways, what'd you guys think about Carlos in the original RE3? And how does that compare to what we've seen in this new remake? Please let me know and why on the comment section down below. Also, if you guys enjoy the content, then please like and subscribe to my channel because I do cover a lot of character analysis and background lore. Anyways, thank you guys so much. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day. And this is Hey Deva, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Are you crazy? You could have barbecued both of us!